Hey guys, so I'm really excited to share with you guys the beauty products that I have picked up within the past couple of weeks. This includes some things I got for Christmas as well as, shame on me, I went and spent a lot more than I probably should have on like Sephora and things like that or just various beauty products. So I'm excited to share with you guys what I got. Some of these I have tried out and tested and others I just haven't opened. So I'm actually going to start first with this little set. This is from Clinique. I got this for Christmas from my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law. So yeah, this comes with a bunch of stuff. So it all comes in a little bag like this. I think this was for the holidays. And what I like about this bag is it has a pocket in here as well. So it's a really nice travel bag. Inside, the first thing you get is this is the Clinique Take Off the Day Makeup Remover. This is for lids, lashes, and lips. And this is a pretty good size. I haven't tried the Clinique Take Off the Day Makeup Remover, but I'm really excited to try this. I do like the kind that you kind of shake up before you put on a cotton pad to do your like eye makeup and stuff, so I'm excited to have that. The next thing you get is an eyeshadow quad. And then this, I really like the packaging of it. It's like a mirror, super sleek. But in this, you get some really nice shades. So these are the shades you get. They're very wearable colors, in my opinion. Um, this one right here is called, uh, from, it's a limited edition Wear Everywhere Grace palette. This is Chocolate Covered Cherry. This is from the Jammin' Duo. And then this is from the limited edition Wear Everywhere Blues palette. So. Those are really nice. Let's go ahead and swatch them for you. There is this little plastic thing that was on it. But here's the white. Oh, these are pretty soft. This one is the other one. Let's see. They do swatch pretty nicely. Those are those two shades. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you can really tell. And then the purple. I haven't used any of like Clinique's eyeshadows before. But yeah. So those are the four shades. You can't really tell much on that from the Jam and Duo. But they are nice and I will definitely play with it. I like that they too have like in the mirror how to apply them. But yeah, pretty nice. Well, let me go ahead and put these little applicator things back in here. Okay. The next thing came with a bunch of like random stuff. The next thing that came with it is their high impact mascara. And this looks like a full size mascara. I don't want to open this one yet because I do like to use just one mascara at a time. But it's nice to try a Clinique mascara. The next thing you get is a Clinique Skinny Stick, and this is in number 13 Sleek Teak. Let's see. Looks like a little eyeliner, and it looks great. It is pretty skinny and little. I don't know if you can see that, but just swatching, that's what it looks like. So it is a gray, a very matte gray eyeliner. So that will be fun to play with and use, especially around the winter time. The next thing I have here, which I'm most excited about in this, is the Clinique Cheek Pop. And the color I have is Heather Pop. Uh, these have been a rage on YouTube lately, and I haven't tried any of them. So I'm really excited to play with one of these shades, and it's on this finger right here. They are very, very pigmented. So it's this shade right here. So I'm really excited to play with that. And like these, again, like I said, I've heard really good things about them. So I'm excited to have one and play with it and see what I think. And if I want to try other colors. If you guys have other colors you recommend of the cheek pops, let me know down below. 
And then the last thing that came in this set is a Clinique Long Last Glossware, and this is in the shade Love at First Sight. I do have another product on my lips now, so I don't want to do anything over it, but I will swatch it. I haven't used it, like I said before, but it just looks like a pink sparkly lip gloss. It does have some sparkles in there, I don't know if you can tell, but there are some sparkles. So yeah, that is a pretty nice set from Clinique and I'm excited to have it. Pretty excited about that. Um, the next thing I'm going to share with you guys is a, a small order from Amazon that I did. Uh, if you haven't seen already, I have posted, I'm doing a project polish this year, so I picked out four nail polishes that I am going to try and finish up hopefully this first quarter and what I used for those to show you guys is these little nail circle things so I pretty much just did like plastic nail display and this I think was like three dollars you get ten sets of these little nail circles where you can like display your different nail polish colors so super inexpensive and it's really great for filming and if you're doing different kind of like nail polish projects so I do recommend these they're relatively inexpensive uh, the next thing I got was the Sigma uh, two times Sigma brush cleaning glove so it looks like this I haven't tried this out yet and I do plan on doing like a first impression how I wash my brushes so this is the glove mint that it comes with it's pretty big actually when I put my hand in it like I have plenty of room but I like that I don't know if you can see but it has all these different little designs and grooves on it this top one is the rinsing area you have the washing area on the palm of your hand you have two refining areas which are right on the thumbs and then you get a refined plus area right here but then on the back so I would say this one is more for like bigger brushes and then the back I just kind of put my thumb in a different hold different than the different different thumb um, this one is probably more for your smaller brushes it has rinse again at the top wash refine and refine plus down here it does also come with like a little how-to brush cleaning guide so yeah be sure to look out for that video to see these this glove in action and I'm pretty excited about that okay the next thing before I get into Sephora I did stop by Walgreens and I just picked up one thing I was really good and only got one thing the thing that I went into Walgreens for and that is the Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. This is my love. I love this so much. Use it every night before bed. I am excited to try this Clinique one, see how it compares. But I have tried like the Equate version of this and I've tried Lancome. And this is just the one that I prefer the best and is relatively inexpensive. So definitely recommend that. Okay guys, so... Sephora. Now, these, like I said, is over the past couple of weeks, so not all of this is one shopping spree, but I got quite a bit. So, the first thing that I have tested out, I'm going to show you guys the things I've used first, is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette. I don't have the outer packaging anymore, which is really cute as well, but this is an amazing palette. I used it for the whole week of... New Year's Eve and then I've been using it on and off since then but these shades are beautiful I love how they come in heart shapes and it's just gorgeous my favorites are probably cotton candy which is right there um, satin sheets is just gorgeous and then they're just all really beautiful I also really like Earl Grey which looks like that they're just really great super creamy and the packaging is adorable I have loved Too Faced last year and I'm going to continue loving them this year 
also, let's see, the next couple things I got for Christmas from my husband, he put these in my stocking. The first is a single Urban Decay eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Diamond Dog. So, it is super shimmery and has like a bunch of sparkles to it, but I love it. So that's what it looks like on the finger, and then swatch, it's so beautiful for all over the lid. It's gorgeous. I love it. He did a really good job picking out that color. Something that I don't have, it's not like an everyday find in my collection, so I really like that. He also got me another NARS lip pencil. This one is in the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. And as you can tell, I have used it quite a bit. This is in the shade Sex Machine. And this is an everyday, like, neutral pink matte lip, and I really love it. Um, these NARS lip pencils have been a find for me in 2015, and I just love them. The next thing, which I am wearing on my lips now, and I'm going back and forth if these are really even that good. I know I'm probably going to get hate for that because these are all over YouTube, but this is the Kat Von D Liquid Lip Stain in Melancholia. Again, it's on my lips now. It is just a bright pink, and these are like matte texture, but what I find with this, and I've tried, this is the third time I'm wearing it now, it's just, I like the formula of it and how it goes on, but it's the wear time. So what it does, it on the majority of my lip, it will go away and it'll just have these weird lines all around my lip when I notice that I need to reapply. And it's not the hottest look, but yeah, so I do plan on doing like a review on this in the past, but I am wanting, wanting to keep playing with it since there is so much love and hype over those. Okay, going into more of the Sephora that I got recently. Um, I got their, this is a brush, this is the Sephora contour brush, number 52. So the brush I got, again, this is the Sephora contour brush in number 52. Looks like this. I just really wanted another kind of brush to try and just try contouring a little bit more. And this is pretty fluffy. I really do like the feel of this. So this would even be good just as a bronzer, but I do want to try as like just right here in the hollows of the cheek for a contour. The other brush I got was the blending brush in number 71. Okay, so so this is open. it unpackaged. And again, this is the blending eyeshadow brush number 71. And it has a pretty good, it'd be really great for the crease. Um, it just fits in your crease area really well. So I'm excited to try that. The number one that was a total splurge, but I love it and I'm really excited to have. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base in the shade number one Radiance. This is the outer packaging. But oh my gosh, guys, you're going to die. This is this gorgeous baby. Oh my gosh. I tried a sample and I finished a sample of this the, over the past couple of weeks and I fell in love with this product. The, it comes with a pump. I don't want to, to use any of it to show you guys, but I will do like a makeup of the day or get ready with me with this so you guys can see it because it is kind of pricey, but this is an amazing fluid base. It gives yourself, I put it on after like primer, before foundation. It gives a really nice subtle glow to your face underneath the foundation that you do use. And it's not like shimmery or anything. It's not glittery. It just gives a really nice luminous glow to your face without being super shiny or anything like that. Oh my gosh, this is a really great, luxurious product, and I would totally recommend you guys getting a sample of this. You, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm so happy to have that. Uh, Repurchased product that I got is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I used a big bottle of this in one of my projects, and I just, I was using the Smashbox Photo Primer photo finish primer water that you used before, but this is, you just can't be Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray in my opinion. And I just got a little, um, this is like the $10 one ounce fluid. So 
I can use it up and not have that huge bottle for years. I'm running out of a powder, so I decided to get the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder. This is smoke, I mean skin smoothing priming powder and finishing veil. And I'll show you guys. I again, like I've said, been loving Too Faced. This is the packaging. It is super cute and pink. When you open it up, it has a really great mirror and it comes with a, like a little puff and that's the product. I wanted something that's more like translucent and that's what this claims to be. So I'm excited to try and play with this. And then I got something a little different. This is the Sephora. This is the Carry On Airless Travel Set and it comes with three different bottles, a, I don't know what that was, let's see, let's open this set, it has a really great like see-through mesh bag, which you do need for traveling an airplane, but, so inside you get two of these bigger airless tubes, one, uh, of a smaller airless tomb, then you get, this is a piston push stick, a spatula, and then a, what is this? And this is just like a regular jar. I'm gonna have to play with this, see what like the push stick and all that. Oh, the push stick is for these bigger jars. They glued this baby in it. Yeah, there's like legit glue, I don't know if you can see, that's holding that down, so I'm going to have to work on that. But yeah, I'm excited to have a little nicer travel set to like put foundation or various products in it. And then I have this Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I do have it on my eyes now, and I have played with this a lot the past couple of weeks. It is a really small brush that is perfect for getting your little lower lashes. I find that this does not smudge, it does not, like if your eyes water or anything like that, it stays on your under lashes and is a great product. I really do like it and the packaging is really cute. So love that. And then I got a whole bunch of samples. There was a promo code for this Ole Hendrickson Truth Sugar Glow Polishing Mask. Looks like that. Got a sample of the Terry Mugler Alien Perfume, a sample of the Atelier Cologne in Mandarin Glacial, looks like that. Got a sample of the Lacoste, I think this is Cologne, I'm going to give that to my husband. I got a sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish. Foundation Primer Oil Free Pore Minimizing. I do have a deluxe sample of this and I do like this product. I have a sample of the Coors Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. Two samples here. They're both in the same shade of the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade Neutral. And then a Fresh Black Tea Age Delay Cream looks like that. So yeah, those are all the things that I picked up within the past couple of weeks from like Sephora and various things. Let me know if you guys have tried these products, if you want any full reviews or first impressions on them, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.